Hello, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial brought to you by Adabesk and in this tutorial I'll be going over the burn tool and also the blur tool. So I've just loaded up my channel on YouTube. If I can go to Firefox, that is. Here we go. Now, I'm going to go to Google Images and what I'm going to do is search for cork board. Let's see. Let's try that one. That's a good one. Now the reason I'm getting a cork board is that it's a good place to start to use the blur the burn tool, sorry. So if I open this cork board that I've just downloaded And select the burn tool which is located under the dodge tool. Now all you have to do is, is just like a uh, the brush tool you can increase the master diameter and the hardness. I'm going to put mine all the way up. As you can see what I'm doing is just by pasting it on I'm making a burnt a very rough but still a burnt edge around this cork board here so it looks it's not particularly good but if I if I close this image and then open it back up again to start all over again and what I've done here is ch it's um, put the hardness to only 13 and now you can see take a bit longer to get the darkness that you want but it's much cleaner as like I said in the brush tool tutorial the hardness feature is like a feather to use with the brush now one more thing I'm just gonna say is and a better well I think a better way of making a burnt edge around your this cork board so if I go to the uh, if I go to the brush tool here increase my master arm to, to about 121 there we go put it to black but put the opacity down to about 22 I'm going to do 22 I'm just uh, Right, make sure your hardness is down and put the opacity back on. No, put it to about, I'm going to put it to about 54, maybe even less. If I, uh, if I go to the colour picker and pick this colour and make it darker, make it darker that's about what that'll do and use the brush tool I can make it a bit better uh, so you got like a nice burnt edge around your image so I'm just going to close that and find a frog yet again that I downloaded from Google and I'm just going to get this frog and now going on to the blur tool, sharpen tool and smudge tool start with the blur tool um, these are very effective tools to use if you want part of your image to stand out and the rest to just kind of um, make the eye not notice them so this part of the face around here I want that to be noticed more than this body so what I can do is just blur out the body as you can see it is getting more getting blurrier like so now if I go to the sharpen tool this 
isn't I'm not a big fan on this because if you rub then you get all this pixelated mess really so I'm not much of a fan of the sharpen tool but if you use the blur tool a lot then you can just blur out the places that you don't want the eye to see in your image and the rest can just stand out say you want the background to be blurred but the rest to just stand out like that now there's also the smudge tool which is like the blur tool but it changes the position of what you're smudging it's just as if you got some chalk um, and like put a pile of it on a table and then just rubbed and then it will smudge along so if I, I'm, I'm hovering over the eye here and if I click and drag like the brush tool you can see I'm just smudging the whole thing what, and you can do it in circles to make like a spirally kind of effect here you can do whatever you want really now a good a good um thing I, I got yesterday was I, I downloaded, I've got the Google image up here and I've got the blur tool no the smudge tool sorry and what I'm gonna do is side to side just like smudge the image and it's as if it's like in a really really windy day and everything's getting like distorted and and if obviously I'm doing it really quickly because I'm just showing you how to do it but if you take your time and maybe what you can do is leave those smudged and blur the E just an idea blow this go back to the smudge tool and well you could do whatever you like really make it put into a spiral like so so yeah you can really use the smudge tool to your advantage to make um messed up photos and uh, okay so that concludes the tutorial on the burn tool and the blur tool sharpen tool and smudge tool and my next tutorial will be about the clone stamp tool in the last tutorial i said that was going to be what i was going to do today but uh, then i realized it was the blur tool and the burn tool so next week will no, no next time will be the clone stamp tool so i hope you have a good day i hope this video tutorial has been useful to you and you can use these tools better than you could before have a nice day and see you in the next tutorial